From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Heil Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, iron, iron! It's like the big thing! Well, this is the nicest shit hole I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, CNC is all honey. Da, excuse the car. Your vision. So, I am Hauptsturmführer at Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals, office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress, or unfavorable conditions your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. I would like to see for myself. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. You must have a traitor amongst the officers. No. I pulled their files. Take care of them. 
with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. Are there other teams like this one? How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you, Herrichta. I understand. Thank you. So. Wir haben euren Freund beim Kubischreißen ertappt! Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign at least. Let me go boss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. But they haven't caught him yet. You told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it. But the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Alina, the Christian, whose name is Josta Moses. Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Petrovia, have you seen my... Again? It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. Now it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. I'm wasted. Stuck in the med tent. But, 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 stop. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodging. Glory is worth nothing when you're dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. Visha, mm. what you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our cameras already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Pleasure. You worry too much. Not a Oh, she's true. Fuck that hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Dulin. Bigushka. Azyol. Shaba. Both of you. I'm going to be late. Sit. Ah. 
Now there. Isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know, you're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papasha. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No. They told me that's not where I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice in the matter. At least you get to fight! Oh, don't tell me at least! You! Watch it! You're both doing your part. Which reminds me... If any of those two brutki get past you... You know where to send them. <laughs> of course, of course. They will never get through. Never. Flynn! I need to run. They're waiting for me! Miss, you're... Box. I swear, he would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on my way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. We should replace your old chair. Never. It's comfy enough for me. It's been a while since I played this. You were a natural. Ah, I miss hearing you play. Misha and I were so little in this photo. Seems like just yesterday. So many impressive medals, Papa. It's your mother. She always insisted we display them. Be safe out there. You cannot believe he's taking the chips. It would be crazy to say he has Like nobody. But you, you think the Germans will push into the city? Not if you're out there fighting. Milimoy, the new partisans I'm training will crush them before they get close. I believe it. Good Bully. luck out there. Something smells good over here. Oh, Paulina, I saved a loaf for your family. Spasibo. <laughs> you're welcome. Your father has been bothering me for some Borodinsky. Of course he has. I'll come by and grab it later. Be safe at work, Paulina. For women, for men. Dorothea, don't you usually have much more than... Morning. Save some of our men today, huh? I will. Shipments were delayed this week because of the stupid barricade. Forget something? You're a lifesaver. I know. Mrs. Pigas. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army Tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. No? Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around up there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go in. Good morning. Morning, Paulina. How is your father's leg? 
Finally improving. Thanks. You've been hearing? Don't worry. The Red Army will handle it. Well, be careful out there. Broke down. This way is blocked. Move along. The medical officer will assign you. She's down the other side of the truck.
have to leave Stalingrad. Now! Obersteiner! Wir haben da oben Verbrecher geschissen gefunden! Alles volle Waffen! Search everywhere! Flush out the Russian vermin! Round them up! You Nazi bastards will kill you all! That was a mistake, man! Tell mom I'm off to save Misha. As usual.
Steiner kommt her, um diese Russen persönlich zu verhören. Ich wünschte, wir könnten sie einfach erschießen. Warum lässt 
Keiner zu lange warten. I think they're dead! Can you cut us free now? Mr. Enka, it was incredible. We're going. Now. Gospodje, I, I was so scared that you and... Me? You're the one tied up? Take care of the others. Olya? Up, up. He's gone. Gone. Oh, no. Misha. No. Misha! No. We don't have time for this. We have to get your recruits out of here. If we stay here much longer, we're trapped. You're right. You're right. Okay. Let's go. Misha, we need to get to the Volga. How do we get out of this building? Misha, focus. How can we escape to the river? There's an exit here. We could make a run for the sewers. But the Germans are blocking the courtyard. It'll be tough. Do you have any extra supplies? Weapons? Anything I can use? I know there were soldiers defending on the roof. They had a radio. There might be supplies, too. All right. I'll lay down cover fire from there while you get our people to the sewers. If you're sure, Sestra, maybe you can reach the roof climbing up there. I should get you to the roof. I'll give you a boost. I'll find a good place to cover you. I know. You've always been a better shot than me. The Pasha is with me now. And I know he wouldn't want us to die in this post office to a bunch of Upliotki. He would be proud of you. He would be proud of us. Get our people to the sewer. I'll lay them fire from the roof. Don't miss, okay? I never do. 
Okay, ребята. Once we're out of the streets, stay hidden until Polina is in position. Polina, if you can hear me, find the radio. Блять, I'm not receiving. Ой, боже, I hope you're listening to me for once. We are pinned down in the crater by the trolley. Waiting for your first shot before we start moving to the sewer. You are surrounded, Ivan! Accept your defeat! Ready to move to the sewer when you open fire. Starring craft belongs to the right! I need to move now! Polina got his attention! Lay down your weapon and surrender! None of you are leaving this square alive! Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping, even greater. But no one really escapes something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives, burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrow deep. She was destined to return the favor. That had made her the deadliest member of my team. Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me, why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top secret Allied operation? You do not scare me, little mouse. <laughs> mm. 
You misunderstand me, Fräulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? <laughs> because I am a woman. <laughs> Tell me, what other missions the Allies have in Germany? Nothing worth talking about. So, what is worth talking about, Fräulein? Rising. We'll confirm my story together. Mm -hmm. Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes, that one. And with. Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? An American arrested at Tempelhof, trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. Prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you. Trying to be nice. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? He stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. <laughs> when we get out of here, the first thing I'm going to do is head to the pictures. See les trois mousquetaires. Let Edith Merard break my heart all over again. And you, Lucas? What's the first thing you'll do when we're out of here? Hey. When I get home, I'm eating lamingtons for a week. All cakes, all the time. I know what you miss. Yeah. I'd like to have that sweet bird Barbara pour me pints at my local until I forget this infernal war ever happened. I don't even know if she's still alive. Everyone I love is dead. And the only time I feel anything is when I watch a German beg for his life. So, I am exactly where I need to be. Wade showed up just as I'd hoped. He played his part well without even knowing my plan. The team had written him off. But I was counting on him being his usual charming self. <laughs> Try that again, Crowd, and we're gonna have a real fucking problem. Your team lied about you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Uh, now, is that so hard? Finally, some respect. I know you are the sixth man. 
What did you want with that plane? <laughs> you Nazis. You make me miss fighting in the stinking Pacific. I want to know what else they lied about. Wade had talked himself out of worse situations. If you heard him talk about Midway, you could tell he was no stranger to hyperbole. Every time Wade told the story, it was a little different. He added a wing of Zeros or another aircraft carrier to his tally. But I read the reports about what happened that day. If Wade was exaggerated, it was only by a little. Remember, our primary objective is destroying the two Japanese carriers. VS and VB squadrons will each take one. Fighting Squadron 6 will provide cover. If the weather holds, we'll be in and out before they know what hit them. This wind will give us the Pacific. Now go out there and get the carriers. As if this operation wasn't hard enough? Now the entire war's on the line? Relax, Hernandez. I was born for this. <laughs> Not too sure I was. Vamos, Jackson. They finished repairs on the plane this morning. She's waiting for us on the flight deck. She has a name. You named the plane. Our plane? And you didn't say anything. You never asked. Tell boys got the fleet position right. They better. If we pull this off, they'll be writing about us in history books. Yeah, well, I'd rather not be history today, so do us both a favor and keep the crazy stunts to a minimum. Stunts? Ouch, buddy. And there, well, you ever wonder why you haven't been promoted yet? <laughs> why is that, smart ass? Because this isn't the Wade Jackson show, amigo. This is war. All of us just want to win and go home. You worry about keeping the zeros off my tail, and I'll get us home. Hey, hold the elevator! Got you, Jackson. Take us up! How many medals do you think we'll win if we pull this off, Jackson? After today, they're gonna have to name one after me, Miller. Just remember we're a team up there, and stay in formation this time, or the sag will have both your stripes. Ah, yeah, formations just slow me down. You see what I have to deal with? Look at that. It's a beautiful day for flying. Let's open stage that way. It's time! Mano Salamasa! Our lady awaits! Ten bucks says I doubt more zeros than you, Jackson! Come on, man! Don't encourage him! Sugar 17. Hear you loud and clear. Intercom's working fine. Hey, they're signaling for pre-flight check. Check the elevators in the back. All right, elevators are good. Okay, Jackson, let's check the ailerons. Right wing's good. Great. Now the left aileron. Left wing's good. All right. Do an engine run up. Make sure she doesn't blow out. She's burning. She sounds good. Ease off, Jackson. Sugar 17, this is Tower. You're clear for takeoff. Okay, let's get her in the air. Ready, Hernandez? As ready as I'll ever be strapped to you. All right, here we go, full power. Release those brakes.
por favor. No fancy tricks. You're no fun. This isn't supposed to be fun, Bendeo. So, you gonna tell me her name or what? Which one? The plane. This plane. You still hung up on that? Well, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> Fine, keep your secrets. Sugar Tan to all Victor aircraft. Who's out of formation? Something's not right. Oh my god! Goddamn zeros out of nowhere! They're on our torpedo bombers. Fighters aren't here yet. S-17, get on those bandits. Already on it. You got our tail, Hernandez? Empty's out! Keep them off the torpedo bombers. Mayday, mayday, I got a bail, boy. They're on my six. I need some help. Might be punching out. Taking too much heat. On the block here. Incoming reinforcements! There's more of them! 
Spit out those zeros fast. Carrier. 
Who has bombs? S-18 has bombs. S-3 has one. Ah! S-17 has one. Anyone else? Okay. S-17 and S-18, it's all on you. Form up behind us and take the shot. That'll be by the skin of our teeth, isn't it? It'll be close enough. All our crabs, draw fire from S-17. Altitude! Altimeter busted! I think you better hang on back there! I'm hit! Let's get out! The action is on you! Feeling steady! 200 more!